all right so hi guys in this video right now i'm going to show you the unboxing of the uh Sanjian dab radio this is the dpr 65 model i got this one from australia this one has a has also rechargeable battery it has a uh, it has fm rds and dab plus there is no am here it has rds dab plus digital radio and um uh, it's standard is DAB plus and um, this is kind of like similar to its uh, little brother here here's my Sanjian HDR14 HD radio this one is HD radio this one is DAB plus and also I opened this earlier and this one is like, it's like uh, much smaller compared to this one maybe because there's no AM here on the DPR65 that's why it's like uh, a much it's much it's like uh a, a bit thinner than this one so yeah it has a little brother now <laughs> here is like the uh, older brother and this is his you know his younger brother here the d Price is 5 and hdr 14. so set, set, set aside for now here here is the radio itself at the front here and um pretty nice packaging i <laughs> i forgot to remove the <laughs> the price tag here here's a dpr 65k dpr 65 it the really nice thing about this is that it has a casing for the radio pretty nice sanjian logo here is the um the information the dpr 65 has 10 station presets five for dab and five for fm it has information display for service data lcd display backlight automatic station search lock switch and it plays on rechargeable and dry cell batteries rechargeable recharging LED indicator and it includes a leather travel case and a power adapter which is a pretty nice neat feature let's open it up and um, let's open it up here here is the uh, contents of the box we have the power adapter here pretty nice shielded and has an RF suppressor power adapter uh, the power adapter is a switching adapter 100 to 200 volts at uh, 24 volts output DC 5 volts 600 milliamps 0.25 amp max for the AC pretty nice uh, I think that's that's it right yeah <laughs> um, pretty really exciting about this radio though. pretty excited about this one and here is the uh, wet warranty here's the letter case it's a magnetic leather case, as you can see here. Here's the glimpse of the radio inside. And here's like the here's like the warranty information for the uh, Sanjian radio. And that's the contents of the box, I guess. I think that's all. Oh, okay. We still have like the uh, manual here. The service manual. Operating instruction manual for the... Uh, for the Sanjian... DPR 65 here pretty nice okay so that's about it inside the contents of the um, of the box here we'll just put and um, put the uh, let's just put in here for now here is the uh, start of the show start of the start of the video is the uh, Sanjian dpr 65 pretty nice leather case and here's the radio itself if i can pull it out there you go here is the uh, sanjian digital radio this one is a dab plus model dpr 65 it has band auto tune info and select uh, the buttons are not that clicky but uh, that's pretty fine. Power button. And um, here is the uh, switch for the uh, lock. The lock switch. And here's the antenna here. It have, yeah. Let's extend the antenna. It's like, it's pretty long. Pretty long antenna from top to bottom. Here's the uh, information. Um, frequency range of 87.5 to 108 megahertz on FM. 
channel block for DAB plus is band three five A to thirteen F. Battery side uh, batteries um you can put two double A batteries here. As you can see here's the compartment, only two double A batteries required, which is pretty nice. Okay. So yeah, that's about it for this radio. Oh by the way. I forgot. Let's, you know what? Let's compare it to the uh, HDR14 here. Here's the HDR14. And uh, here's the uh, DPR65. They're like pretty similar in features. P yeah, pretty similar. The only difference is that this one is a uh, DAB radio. And this one has AM and HD radio. Same gen logo on the bottom. But you can notice a thickness here. As you can see, um, it still has a lock switch. Here, um, the thickness of the of these two Sanjian radios, this one has is like uh, a bit thinner than the HDR14 because there's no AM antenna here. There's no AM, so that's why. So I think that's the only difference. Yeah, as you can see, it's like um, this one is much thinner. The DPR65 one, much more portable. Here is the side switch here. Here is the volume rockers, the uh, the charge selection. I'm going to set this to off because I'm going to put a, an ultimate lithium batteries here. It has a headphone jack and as well as five volt 0 0.6 amps. Um, uh, adapter, which is, you're going to use this from this one. And, um, this like this like uh on the HDR four chance you can see this one is covered as you can see here it's covered, uh this one is supposed to be has a charge here but of course the HDR four chain doesn't need one of that so it's like automatic anyway, so yeah that's about the comparisons for this radio, and that's about it for the DPR sixty five and that's about it, hope you like the video if you like it. Uh, leave the comment down below press the like button if you dislike it and you can press the dislike button comment down below for any comments that you have on this radio and that's about it guys see you again in the next video bye bye